Hey guys, blow drying is an amazing way to get sleek, smooth, frizz free hair. There's nothing like that fresh salon blowout look. Blow drying is my jam. I absolutely love it, but it's a little bit complicated to learn at first. So I'm gonna break it down in a couple different videos. So this is the first video in that series. If you find my videos helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe. So this is your intro to blow drying. I'm gonna show you three things today. The first one is how to use products. The second one is the general strategy for blow drying. And the third is how to use the brush and the blow dryer at the same time. So let's start out with products. Before you even start blow drying, you need a leave-in conditioner and some type of blow dry styling product that already has heat protection built in. My three favorites are Redken's Big Blow Dry, Redken's Rebel Tame, and Olaplex 6. Use a pea-sized amount of whatever product you picked and then use a wet brush to detangle your hair and evenly spread the product out. Let's go on to part two now, the general strategy of how to blow dry. Your hair will stay in whatever shape that it's dried in. So if you want sleek, smooth hair, we wanna make absolutely sure that it dries in a straight position. The way we're going to accomplish that is to pull the hair straight with the brush and go in with the blow dryer to dry it while it's still in that straight position. So knowing that, here's what we're gonna do. Put the brush on a section of wet hair close to the root and then pull it tight. We then wanna keep that tension the entire time as we move the brush down the hair. It's extremely important that we don't let the hair slack or fall off the brush because then you'll create frizz. Now the third and final concept is moving the brush and the blow dryer at the same time so they're working together. As the brush moves down the hair, we're gonna bring the blow dryer in to start drying the hair, but we're not going to point it at the brush. The entire point of the brush is to pull the hair straight, but the hair that's still on the brush isn't straight. It's actually tangled and overlapped. What we want to do instead is point the blow dryer at the hair just above the brush. That hair should be nice and straight. That way you'll get a nice sleek, shiny look to it and it'll last longer. Those are the three main pillars of blow drying. If you practice just those, you can get an amazing result. Just make sure to keep the hair tight the whole time and don't let it fall off the brush. I'll come out with part two soon here, but I want to give you a chance to practice first. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Have a good one.